G'day chaps, so this is the deployment. So we've got two batteries of French artillery on the hill, full brigade of infantry there, light cab supporting in the middle, another brigade of infantry there, all in uh, attack column. And over on that flank, we've got the guard and the whole heavy cavalry brigade and a battery of infantry. So I feel there might be a push coming along that flank. British. Okay, so on the British, we have on this flank, we've got all the green troops. Uh, they are, however, supported by a small battalion of rifles, but they could be in trouble with these French guard coming down to meet them. A bit like Waterloo, I think. The Dutch, see if they can hold up the uh, Imperial Guard like they did at Waterloo. Uh, three battalions of British infantry, some Scots Greys. Artillery, more British infantry, some more heavy cavalry, and some guns up on the hill. And then we've got all the light cavalry there and some rifles who are going to head down this flank and try and kill all these guns. So that is deployment, uh, and we're going to work out who's going to go first, and off we go. So we're at the end of turn one, uh, this light brigade failed to do anything really. Managed to get them down there in line, but the rest of them refused to move. This whole brigade refused to move. I moved the cavalry up to counter the light cavalry coming across. That brigade moved up. I moved all this cavalry up, and I've started the rifles down this little flank. Uh, and the French. So the French. The guard have moved up uh, and they've taken three regiments cavalry they're moving up with them so that could be a problem this brigade moved up the light cavalry moved up to try and capture the hill which is one of the objectives uh, this brigade failed to move and both of our artillery fire was pretty ineffective i did cause two casualties on that battalion but apart from that that's all that's happened this turn on to the next one. Okay, so end of turn two. Uh, I've decided I'm going to do this battle report as a summary um, because everything's not painted. But next one I might do will show all the rolling and the dice and everything. Anyway, on this flank, the cavalry haven't moved. Uh, they decided to stay where they were because the guard failed their orders. This brigade has moved up, and I've got some cavalry there, but he's got all his lights in the centre. This brigade failed its orders, so had to move on a reroll. The gun battery fired at them. You know, heavy dragoons over there, and the dragoons got very lucky and only took one wound. The light cab had just moved. Oh, I didn't move the light cab. Okay, so they just stayed there. Uh, guns on the hill didn't do anything. Rifles are still moving up. I've got all my heavy cavalry trying to take this hill. This brigade is trying to deploy into a long line across the front to get some guns to bear. That one just moved up slightly and then I moved up the um, Green Brigade and deployed their skirmishers. So far not many casualties but we are going to get to the meat of it over the next couple of turns. So the guard are advancing on this flank. They've deployed their skirmishers now and killed mine. It was a very sad day. Uh, I've still got all these guys on the hill. The rifles have come around to add some fire, but really ineffective at the minute. The heavy cavalry have come down off the hill, looking a bit threatening. This brigade, two of the units formed square because of my heavy cavalry up on the hill there, and the other two are still advancing towards my line, which stayed in place this turn. I moved the guns up there and took a shot at these, didn't do anything. Uh, light cavalry haven't moved. All of these are formed square, so I can get enflating fire. I managed to kill one base. 
moved all my carry up onto the hill. Uh, this battery almost wiped out that entire regiment if we managed to pass the panic test. My cavalry hadn't moved and the rifles formed into march columns so they can actually get moving now. So that's it at the end of, uh, I think, turn three? Turn three. Okay, so the end of turn four. Uh, this one's looking very precarious now. I can't shift them skirmishers. The cavalry are moving up to assault the square on my rifles. Not a lot I could do on that hill because I can't block the guns. This battalion starting to redeploy, trying to get into line. Uh, I'm threatening the flank of that column with my cavalry and keeping them in square. These guys failed to move, they could possibly charge, we will see. These guys still in square, got the light cavalry in cover. They're gonna have to move out next turn, I think. That battalion's forming up to try and pour some fire into these battalions in square, get enfilading fire. Guns over not anything. Rifles are moving a bit quicker now, should have put them in march columns straight away. Uh, this could be quite pivotal. I think the next two turns are gonna decide it. Okay, so over on this flank, it's kind of stalled. Uh, the guard just don't want to pass any orders, so they're kind of meandering along really slowly. Cavalry managed to get a nice advance, but they got blasted by canister fire. So now the unit in front is disordered and holding everybody else up. The rifles decided to be brave and run away into the woods. The Scots Greys massacred a unit, but the unit managed to escape or the, the command escaped with the colours. They did kill the entire unit, forcing that other unit into square. Um, these guys stay in square. Cavalry, I've only passed, the light cab have passed one order for the entire battle, which has caused the whole of the French line to stall and stay in square because they can't move to do anything to help out uh, because of that unit on the hill. That brigade's not really done much. This one has wiped out one of the French battalions here, just pouring fire into them with enfilading fire. My light cavalry's kind of stalled. Uh, I don't really know what to do with it at the minute. The rifles are sneaking around here. They're gonna get behind the guns very soon, hopefully. So that is the end of turn five. I think either the next one or the one after will probably decide it. Exactly, mate. So, uh, the French have called it there. Uh, there's not a lot they can do, to be fair. They might have taken this flank with another couple of turns, but I had enough, this whole uh, brigade here, to counter it. 
The Scots Greys moved away from the cannon fire, so they, they were a little bit more protected. Um, so this cavalry bash didn't go particularly well for the French. They charged me, I counts charged. And because they're heavies against whites, they just annihilated them. So the French light cavalry are the cause of today's disaster, I think we can say, say that. Yeah. Rifles are still moving down that flank, never got anywhere. My light cav didn't move or do anything much, but they were threatening that entire brigade. So they had to stay in square the whole time. So they did the job. Uh, cannons didn't do a great deal. Uh, the line infantry failed to get up onto the hill this turn, but it didn't matter anyway because they had just poured fire into them poor French squares. And that's pretty much it. So overall, we're gonna give it a British victory. Uh, but as Ant said, it gets a moral victory anyway because nobody wanted the French to win. So there we have it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this battle report. I've done it as a summary this time, as I say, because we were, we were trying to relearn my rules. You'd think I'd know them because I wrote them, but I don't. And that's it. And we will catch you in another battle report with probably twice as many soldiers. <laughs>